tap out. It's a rap. Yeah. Former undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion Jan Blachowicz, and no one will soon forget his title winning performance against Dominic Reyes, the title defense against Israel Adesanya. But this man has a little bit of an edge to him now as he tries to get the belt back. Well, he had everything, and then it was taken away. He lost the belt, and he thought in that loss he just was not himself. He has been better since. Tonight he has to be better once again if he wants to get his hand raised. He's going to have to rely on all of his skills to get the job done. But legendary Polish power is something I will always tune in to watch. No doubt about it. And I thought he acquitted himself pretty well in the Magomed Ankalaev draw. I thought he showed some heart late in that fight. But he was unable to become a two-time UFC light heavyweight champion. And he continues on that exact track here tonight. time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking attribute yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Jan Blakowicz. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Vulcan, no time. Who's the man? Herb Dean. Our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, ready to go with early round action here. Let us see what Volkan Ustamir has to offer. Certainly, a lot of our fighter meeting was rooted in his power, which is self evident. But this man's got a lot of different tools, a lot of different nuances on the feet that we haven't necessarily seen. And he believes this matchup might afford him the opportunity to let all those skills go. Big knee there. All right, some good signs early out of Jan Blachowicz finding the range with both of his hands. That right hand has got some power, there's no doubt. I mean, legendary Polish power. You know, it's like his calling card now. He puts people out with the right hand. It does not matter how he throws it. He can throw it as an uppercut. He can throw it as a, a, right, a right hook. He can throw it as a straight right hand. I mean, we have seen him knock people out with this punch on so many different occasions. Uppercut on Rockhold, straight right hand on Dominic Reyes. The guy just has amazing power in this right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Two minutes have gone by. Wachowicz's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about him. Oh, 
He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Wachowicz. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Effective use of the jab there by Ustamir. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Wachowicz. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, he's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defense. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's well oh He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Big right hand. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, huge left. Big right hand. For an arm here. What a tight arm bar. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over. And you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. It's fine. You've been here before. You just got clipped. I need you to go out there and I need all right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Ready. Ready. Go Here we are, early round two. Who's Demir? Strike attempt there is blocked. Well, not a fight any flow there, but certainly some right hand power out of Jan Bohovic. Jan Bohovic can do it all. And that right hand is what he's in trouble. Back to the feet now. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to attack that region. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Looked like it did stall a little bit. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Hands high, hands high. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. so deep. Oh, my goodness. No way. He got it. This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the arm bar. The fight was done. He loves to fight on. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. He might get a finish here. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. 
in defense, not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Final seconds. Wachowicz is cut on his nose, manageable for a while. Maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Big elbow there, Lance. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Oh, it's your perfect body shot. Signs of oh. 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 I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bogdan, no time, who's the And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.